We're at the Goodwill bins. It's my birthday and we're going thrifting. Woo -hoo. That's right. The music is so loud, but look, this is so cute. I always love a blue ball jar and this one could be fun for fall with the apples in it. Another cute item for fall. I'm not sure I need any more fall decor though. Oh, there it is. I don't think I've ever seen a plate. Cute. Kind of fun to find a 31 bag. These are not cheap. It's in pretty good shape. Okay, this might be the biggest coffee mug I've ever seen. <laughs> it's huge.
this is a hoot and a half, and I can think of a few friends who would get a good chuckle out of it. <laughs> Goodwill had this at $3.99. I actually think that's a pretty good price. I'm just not sure if it's something I need really. I usually put my cheese out sliced already. Right, you all we went to the bins we did the bins the girls got stuff got some i got stuff chris didn't find any toys um, okay i hope it was fun going with me to the goodwill outlet bins i'm gonna go ahead and show you what i got i spent 25 dollars on my things and then hannah and molly went in together and they spent i'm not gonna show you what they got they got all clothing but they spent i think it was oh I don't remember. It was like $28 a piece or something like that. So it was a lovely day. We did this on my birthday. So that was really fun for me. I love going thrifting. And so that's what I chose to do on my birthday. And then we had lunch at a pizza place um, nearby. So that was really fun. And we sat there and it totally reminds me of a pizzeria in New Jersey. Anyone who, who was from the East Coast knows what I'm talking about. Like that dimmer lighting, you know, there's like red in a lot of places, you know, in the decor. And it, I don't know, they have TV going, TVs going. It just reminds me so much of home. There's booths and tables. I, I loved it. So we went there and it was really fun. Now, I will show you what I got at the bins. I'm going to show you what's in front of me first, but I do want to show you real quick. One of the things is in use already. So this is a dress that my grandma made for me when I was two. And I have her picture up here, which you can't see. I think I've shown you in another video. That's okay. Um, but I needed a nicer hanger for it. I just had like a plastic 2T hanger. And so I found this hanger at the bins. It's just a little satin baby hanger. It's probably for lingerie, but it, you can also use it for child's clothing. So I got that and that's already in use. And then I, on, along the same lines and in the same place was a bunch of these hand crocheted hangers. I don't use these. They do sell really well for me at the Pink Elephant. So that's what these are for. I love rescuing them because someone put a lot of time in to create these. So it always makes me sad to see them go to waste. I especially like the wire hanger ones. I just think, and this one, these have bows on them. It was just such a cute way to like make a wire hanger so much nicer. Look at that one. That's adorable. So anyway, these will go to the Pink Elephant where I do some reselling, very little reselling. You know, people give resellers a lot of flack. I have a full-time job, but so it's a very side side habit for me, but it does give me a window into how much work reselling is. And I wouldn't want to do it full-time. And, you know, thumbs up to the people who do because it's a lot of work and like for not a lot of, you know, return. 
So anyway, that's my spiel. I just hate when people hate on groups of people. And like here on YouTube, I see it a lot on like thrifting channels that don't resell at all. And then you read the comments and I'm just like, stop hating on people. Why are you hating on people when they're just doing something to earn a living? <sighs> So I just went off on a rant, which I don't generally do on my channel. We'll see if I actually keep it in or not. Okay, Chris is calling me. I got to pick it up. Hold on. Okay, I am back. Chris just needed to ask me a question. All right, some other things I got. I got this for myself. Oh my gosh, isn't it so cute? It's just from Target. Uh, the brand is Universal Threads. Universal Thread or Threads? Thread. And I think it's so cute for summertime. So I'm going to use this. We're going to be doing some sightseeing this week with the family that's coming to town. So I thought this would be really nice for that purpose. It just has a nice summer vibe. And then I got this little piece of linen, mostly because I didn't want to see it go to the landfill. <laughs> I thought it was really pretty. Um, I don't know if I'll use it here or if I'll just put it at the pink elephant. I haven't decided yet, but I didn't want it to get thrown away. Okay, and then I found these, which is boring, but I needed them. And they're actually really expensive online. Like to buy a box of manila folders or hanging folders on Amazon is a lot of money. So um, yeah, I just picked up a few. I don't need too many. I have a really cool old file box and these um, will fit, but it'll then it'll make that file box much more usable for me. So that is something practical. And then we got... <sighs> I picked up this for Penny. That's one of our dogs. And this for Sherman for the winter time. Um, this one looks bigger, but they're actually both mediums. So I don't know. Hopefully they fit them. So I thought those were really cute for winter. Um, keep them warm. They also have jackets. Um, it, it gets legitimately like really cold here. So sometimes we stick, if it's really cold, we'll stick a, a layer on them, even though they're dogs, you know. Then I also picked this up. Oh my gosh, it's just a little doll bonnet, but someone made it and I think it's so adorable. So this is staying in my collection of doll clothes. Um, I have my mother's doll. She, oh, I don't know where she is. She's downstairs in my room. I have my mother's doll from when she was a kid. And um, so I'll probably put that on her or next to her or something. So I thought that would be really cute. And then I got these for myself for Christmas time. I think they're so cute. They're Fitz and Floyd Santas. I'll show you the size. Oh, this one's upside down. That's adorable. Okay, so see, he's rolling over. See that? Really cute. And then he's just kind of sitting. Oh, Oh, I think he goes on his side. Maybe it tells us. Oh yeah, you're. look at that. If I would just pay attention to the picture that I showed you. One goes on his side, one is sitting upright, and one is on his head. So that's kind of cute and different. And so that will go in my Santa collection for Christmas. I got these for the grad party. There's going to be lots of kids here. So I got some tattoos. They are new. Got a book. So cute. Oh my gosh. I don't know what it's about. I'll have to read it but it's from the 70s and I just really liked I actually really liked the back cover I'm probably gonna put this like behind a vignette in the fall because I just I like the colors I like the roosters I just think they're cute and then I got this the Bobsy twins of Lakeport um I don't know I just I like vintage books and I think it's cute that's all that's the only reason why I got two encyclopedias. One is to put in my old books collection and one is to use for junk journaling. Um, I just thought they were really cool. I'm just fascinated by the fact that we used to get all our information out of books like this and in my lifetime. This is how I would write papers. I have to reference all the encyclopedias in the library. Like that's nutty. Nutty that I'm that old. <laughs> And I did pick up this jar. You saw this in the footage. It is full of apples. I don't know if I'll keep the apples in there, but I think that would be cute for fall. Um, but I might take them out for now and then put them back in around the fall time. And what else? Oh, one more book. This is just for my, you know, books for my grandchildren. It's such an adorable story. If you have a grandchild, like look for this book. It's just so cute and not too many words on a page, which is really good for little kids. And then my favorite thing, I think, is this my, am I on my last thing? Might be on my last thing. Yes. I think this is my last item. Looks like it. I haven't missed anything. I love this so much. It says farmhouse local. 
I think it's so cute. I could put plants in it. It looks like they used it as like maybe a planter. I could use it for, you know, lots of different things, but I'm going to use it for decor and I'll probably put a plant or two in it. Uh, probably faux. And I think I'm going to put it at the top of my bookshelf. I discussed it with Molly today, which is currently involved in my 4th of July display. So once that comes down, I'll probably put this on the top of my bookshelf in the living room. I think it'll look really cute. It's a big, it's kind of a statement piece. It's pretty big. So I really like that. And the best part is it was only a dollar because um, they're like, oh, that's too heavy to weigh. So they gave me a, they gave a discount. So that was nice. Okay. So that's all that I have for you today. Oh, I did get myself a book also. I don't recall the name of it, but it's about, um, it takes place in England and it's about this women's choir that was like, they were trying to shut it down during World War II and the ladies like really wanted to keep singing together. And so it's their stories. Anyway, I don't remember the name, but it's a good book. I started it last night and I read the first chapter. So, okay, that is all that I have for you. If you see me in this shirt in other halls is because I'm filming one hall right in a row next to the next like, wow, several hauls right in a row because we're having family this week and I'm trying not to miss a night of videos. So I'm trying to get them all done at once. That's the plan. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed seeing what I found at the Goodwill Bins and I will see you in my next video. Thanks for watching. Bye. Mm -hmm.